Well, Triumph makes all sort of motorcycles, adventure bikes, sports bikes, and even cruisers. And the Triumph Thunderbird LT is for those cruiser-loving folks who are looking out for something other than Harley or an Indian motorcycle. Thunderbird LT is much more than an other Road King clone. Classic styling is evident nose to tail on this cruiser. It's a classic touring cruiser, the whole front end with its wire wheels and white walls, lashings of chrome and riding lights, and with all the wiring neatly routed through bars for an uncluttered look. Well, look at the bike, so much attention to detail has gone under the process. It's a sure shot head turner once you're out on the street. Well, the seats are quite comfortable and flush, probably one of the best seats I've ever sat on in a motorcycle. Thunderbird gets a round headlight with twin auxiliary lights, quick release screen, footboards, classic American style parallel twin cylinders, belt drive, cushioned seats, backrest and leather saddlebags for storage. The instrument panel sits on a large 22 litre fuel tank housing a large analog speedometer which looks quite classic. While swinging a leg over the LT isn't hard as it has a saddle height of just 700mm. The variety of metal and fabric finishes are well laid throughout. Well, what makes the Thunderbird LT visually so different from other cruisers is the parallel twin engine layout. The special LT badging on engine cases and tank, the white piped seat and the neat tri-oval profile silencers looks classy and have been orally tuned to sound as good as possible. The riding position is likewise, relaxed but still gives a sense of control to the rider. You sit bolt upright holding the wide raised handlebar and with feet on large boats. The LT responds effortlessly from low revs. The handling is neutral, stable and predictable and certainly never gets out of shape like pushed road kings of the past were liable to. Cruisers are a lot more about style and riding comfort than lap time. Acceleration is about as compelling as you want, depending on how much twist you give the throttle. The clutch effort is moderate for a bike this size and take up is smooth and easy. I'm surprised the levers aren't adjustable for reach. It's barely stressed at the legal limit, loping along smoothly with a pleasing character that is enhanced by a slightly throatier exhaust note. The only thing missing here is cruise control. The tubular steel twin spine frame is heavily revised from that of the stock Thunderbird both for dynamic and comfort reasons. New wheel sizes dictated reworked steering geometry while the rear had to be lowered and strengthened both for cruiser comfort and carrying capacity. Though the chassis is tweaked, Triumph says the suspension changes play a greater role in rider comfort. Once you get used to the drill, the LT tracks surely and can be hustled through quite well. Though the LT looks a bit beefier, it steers easily no matter what your velocity is, thanks to the panniers, windshield and other accessories. The windshield does its job admirably by keeping a nice clean bubble of air around you while preventing literally thousands of insects from hitting your helmet visor. The LT was comfortable pushing higher speeds and the rock steady mirrors give you a great view of what is behind you. Power delivery is plenty smooth. The liquid cool 1700 motor makes 93 bhp and 151 Nm of torque. The gear ratios of the LT's 6-speed gearbox are well suited to the engine with no awkwardness between gears and ample torque. The belt drive is a great touch and absorbs any jerkiness when you come on and off the throttle and helps add to the LT's mellow experience. Sixth gear feels like an overdrive and keeps the revs low while running at high speeds. Suspension duties are handled by the Showa 47mm forks on the front and Showa chrome spring at the rear. The braking with ABS as standard are beyond criticism. Its comfort truly impressive and is taken care by the twin 310mm floating discs and single 310mm fixed discs on the rear. 
With a price tag of 15.75 lakh ex showroom Delhi, the Thunderbird LT comes 10 lakh cheaper to Harley Davidson Road King and half the price of Indian cheap vintage. So if laid back riding and long distance touring is what you're looking for, the Thunderbird LT certainly makes for a very good consideration. And if you're wondering about riding in the city or for daily commute, the Thunderbird LT makes for a very practical motorcycle for all-round usability.